Kate Middleton is set to become the next Princess of Wales, taking the title from Diana, when Charles becomes king, an expert has claimed. The Duchess of Cambridge, 40, is on course to fill Diana's shoes when Prince Charles becomes king after wearing her engagement ring for more than a decade. Royal expert Camilla Tomini claimed Kate and William are preparing to be the future Prince and Princess of Wales. Speaking to Nine News Australia, Ms Tomini said, what's interesting about her is she is very pivotal. She is the mother of a future king and the wife of a future king. As far as the monarchy is concerned and particularly in the absence of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, she is a hugely influential figure moving forward. There is a degree of talk about transition behind palace gates. She's de facto the next Princess of Wales. The Duchess of Cornwall has never taken the title for obvious reasons but she is effectively the person who is going to fill Diana's shoes when the time comes. I think she feels the weight of that responsibility. She's worn the late princess's ring now for more than a decade but that's where we're going to see this couple go now. The future prince and princess of Wales and of course preparing William to become king one day and Kate to be queen by his side. However, Kate may not be able to become queen consort if Camilla does not receive the title before her, a royal expert has claimed. On the topic of whether the Duchess of Cornwall would receive the queen title when Prince Charles becomes king, royal historian Koenig said it would be a terrible precedent if she was only a princess. Speaking to Express.co.uk, the royal expert said, there's no law, it is a tradition that the wife of the king is the queen. I find it personally ridiculous. I think it would sort a terrible precedent for example if Camilla is princess consort then why should Catherine be queen consort? I find it very telling that Queen Elizabeth II made an announcement a couple of years naming Camilla and William to the Privy Council. There's a very good reason for that in the case of Camilla that makes it possible that she will be present at the Accession Council when Charles is proclaimed king. Why shouldn't she be queen? He is no legislation needed, it's just tradition. As time goes by, I think we should just accept that she is his wife. She has done an amazing job taking on different charities and patronages. Why should she just be treated as his equal? I have no problems with that and I think that's how it should be. He's not the first king in history to have a second wife. 